Welcome, welcome to another epic edition of Phase of World. It's May 2025 and we've got a packed issue for you. Phase of 4 is nearly here. Phase of Beam is brewing no code game generation to the masses and we've got incredible game jam winners to spotlight. Let's jump straight into the action. First up, the Phase of 4 release candidate 4 is live, featuring huge improvements like boosted mobile performance, major memory optimization and refined graphical filters. We believe this is the final version before our big launch, but we'd love for your help testing. Grab it from GitHub, NPM or the Phaser Sandbox and help us squish those last few bugs. Phaser Labs just got a shiny overhaul. We refreshed all the examples, updated everything for Phaser 4 and added brand new demos, especially highlighting the powerful new filters. It's the ultimate playground to spark your creativity. Check it out. And want the inside scoop on Phaser 4's powerful rendering compatibilities? We've published a detailed guide covering everything from rendering basics, enhancements over Phaser 3, and performance tips that will elevate your games to the next level. Check this one out, guys. And don't worry, Phaser 3 fans, we have not forgotten about you. Version 3.90 is out now with handy new features like rounded corners for rectangular shapes and improved order compatibility on Firefox. This might just be the final Phaser 3 update, so make sure to give it a whirl. If you haven't seen our latest short, Big news to everyone who's dreamed of making games without coding. Phaser Beam is almost ready. This intuitive no-code editor uses a simple drag-and-drop interface on an infinite grid, making game creation accessible for everyone. Join the beta waitlist now at beam.game. Heading back over to Phaser 4, animation enthusiasts rejoice. Spine has officially released its runtime. Bring your games to life with smooth, professional-grade animations. Head over to Esoteric Software's sites for all the juicy details. Our beloved phaser templates have been revamped, now faster, simpler, and more powerful. Whether you use React, Vue, Vite, or classic JavaScript, we've got the perfect starting point for you. Plus, we've introduced the brand new Tori template, ideal for creating lightweight desktop games. Check it out on GitHub. And to round things off with all the updates, Phaser Launcher also got some fantastic quality of life upgrades. Moving on to the game spotlight now, it's time to celebrate the winners of Game Dev JS Jam 2025. With a record breaking 420 game submissions and 69 built with Phaser, the community has blown us away. We've picked our top four Phaser built entries in a special showcase video, so make sure you check that one out, guys. It's on the channel. And now for a few standout Phaser games from the wider community this month. Starting us off strong, Total Defense, Free Kingdoms. Take on the role of a battlefield commander in this immersive tower defense game. Defend your territory with legendary Shuhan heroes across 32 intense campaigns. From the Oath of the Peach Garden to the Battle of Yuling, this game is incredibly interesting, so make sure you check it out. Now onto something a little bit less intense. Folklands, a relaxing yet strategic settlement builder where you manage citizens, gather resources and fend off natural threats. It's all about keeping your folks happy, well-fed and safe. It's perfect for fans of cozy management sims. Up next, Kimutaku, a fresh blend of roguelike, deck builder, tower defense and puzzle gameplay. Build your animal-based deck and defend your town from wave after wave of adorable but deadly enemies. And to round things off on our game spotlight, we have Conquer.io, a minimalist turn-based strategy game inspired by the classic Slay. It's easy to learn, but tough to master. Expand your kingdom, balance economy and warfare, and crush both enemies and allies alike. And finally, let's highlight some fantastic new tutorials. Scott Westover is back once again and he provides a detailed step-by-step -step tutorial on creating your own top-down adventure game reminiscent of The Legend of Zelda, complete with TypeScript and Phaser 3. Make sure you check that out guys, Scott is always making good tutorials. Also whilst you're at that, why not learn the fundamentals of creating an addictive bubble shooter game for a detailed, easy-to-follow, three-part tutorial series. It's perfect for beginners and intermediates alike. Check this one out guys. And lastly, The Code Dose offers an engaging series to teach you how to build a cozy JavaScript game centered around making pasta, guiding you through the game development process even if you have no prior experience. Don't miss out on these insightful tutorials. They are perfect for honoring your game dev skills. Mark my words, Beam is the start of something big. You'll want to say you're here early, so make sure you sign up now. 
And that is a wrap on another epic edition of Phaser World. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell for more exciting Phaser news and updates. Until next time, cheerio. Yeah.